Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In this tutorial we're going to be showing you a top trick using the offset function and how you can use that to retrieve the last value in the row. Uh, so to demonstrate this we'll first look at the example data we've got to help explain what we're going to be using the function for uh, to achieve. So you can see, and excuse us for the boring uh, test one and two and then the finds, but hopefully this will demonstrate obviously how it will work and then you can use it in a more realistic situation. Um, so what we've got is we've got rows from 6 to 12 and in those you can see that the value that we want to find and that varies by find 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So 7 that we want to find. And what we want to do is we want to retrieve this last value from each row. But as you'll notice obviously that value appears in different locations for each of those rows. So it wouldn't be we wouldn't be able to just say okay equals every value in column D, for argument's sake. We have to be able to dynamically identify where that value sits. So what we can do is use a function called offset. Uh, and before we go into the function, a real beneficial way of using this, and this is where we actually got the idea for this tutorial, is we're working with hierarchies. And obviously, each person who works in an organization might have a different number of managers to the next person. So we always want to try and obviously accumulate those up to find out who the top level manager is as such. So this is where we'd use that scenario to try and work out find that top manager uh, from obviously varying arrays of people with different numbers of managers. And we hope that hasn't now made it confusion, but hopefully this will help demonstrate uh, a solution to if you come across this uh, this problem in, in your work. So what offset does is allows us to select our starting point and then to offset, so obviously increase the range by either a set number of rows or a set number of columns. And to be honest, it's actually probably easy enough just to jump into the function and show you how it works uh, with the prompts that Excel gives us. So the first thing we do is go equals and enter our formula or function, sorry, of offset. And you can see the various prompts that we have in here. So we won't touch on the height and width. So that's the last ones we have there. We don't need to worry about those. The only three we're going to first look at is reference rows and columns. So what the first thing we need to do is say, OK, well, where's our reference? Where is our starting point? So for us, our starting point is going to be the first column. So all we need to do is select that. And then when we say offset, it's OK, how many rows or columns do we want to offset from that starting position? So if we either go by two rows, then we'd go, we'd jump two rows to take us down to row eight. If we were to offset by two columns, then obviously we go across two. So we'd end up in column D. So having set our reference, our starting point, we can do comma and move on to rows. Rows for us in this example here, we're not going to be using, so we don't need this. But obviously you could do the reverse if you were trying to look for last row rather than column in our scenario here. So all we need to do is just do a comma and then we can get into the rows. Oh, we'll move from the rows section and then go into columns. And you'll just notice we just left it blank. You can see the two commas that we've got there back to back. So what we're going to do now is, firstly, we know we want to offset this first one by two columns. So all we need to do, it really in here, is we could type the number two, close our brackets, hit enter, and you'll see that um, Excel is going to return to us the value, or the, sorry, the, say the cell reference and its value, that is offset by two columns from our starting position in column B. So that's where we end up into column D. But obviously we don't know what that is for all these other ones here. So if we were to drag this formula down, you can see that we're always going to just pull in whatever's in column D. So we can see what test three, we've got a blank here in row eight, uh, and, and so on and so forth. So it's not going to work for us. So we need a dynamic solution to understand how many values we need to offset by. So all we need to do to that is rather than put the value of two, we're going to use um, the count function to count how many obviously columns are being used based on the number of values that there are. So once we've removed the number two, as we've got in our example, all we need to do now is replace that with counter. So C-O-U-N-T-A and then open our brackets. And then we can extend this to the width of obviously the data that we have. So we've got four columns here. So we'll just extend it to that. Close our brackets at the end there. And then what we'll need to do is we just need to include a, a minus one. And the reason for doing this is what we have at the moment here, what's going to happen is our function is going to count, obviously, all of these values in this row. So it, in this example here, it will count three. Well, we don't want to offset three columns from our starting position of column B. We only want to do the two. So that's why we bring the minus one in there so that it goes down to two, the correct number. So we just put minus one in here, close our brackets. And then when we hit enter, you can see, obviously, it's found our desired um, value, which is find one. So the last value uh, or the last column that has got a value populated into it. If we now copy this formula all the way down, 
you can see that it's correctly updated for all those other values as well. And that's because obviously it's updating based on each of the different columns. And all we can do here is if we enter our count our function, it should help sort of demonstrate what we've done. So counter all of those columns, minus one, and we can then pull this one down here. So let's now pull that down. So for the first one, it'll obviously start in column B, and it'll be offset by two. So it'll go two places to be in column three. And this other second example we've got in row seven, this is going to be offset by now three. So our starting location of column B, offset by three, would give us one, two, three to end up in column E. So there you go. We hope you found that, uh, that top tip really useful. We hope obviously more importantly, it made sense. And we'll just click in here just so obviously you can just see that function once again as we close off. If you have any questions at all, please just drop us a comment below this video or alternatively links in the description to this video for our website, Facebook and Instagram. So any questions, you can also reach out to us there and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. If you did enjoy the video, um, please do give it a big like. It'd be greatly appreciated by us and obviously it really helps out the channel. And lastly, if you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel hit that bell notification button so you're notified of all our future videos and uh, that'd be greatly appreciated as well so thank you very much and we shall see you in the next video